The pandemic has been especially hard on child care centers, and now they're asking for help as Congress puts together a budget. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live tonight in Rocky Hill. And Mike, how much are they exactly looking for here? Well, Aaron, Senator you, uh, Richard Blumenthal said today that he wants to see $400 billion included in this possible spending plan. Child care centers say that they need to help to get by because many may not last much longer at a time when families need the help to get back to work. Nothing is more important, nothing, than investment in child care. Child care centers say that their industry is at a crossroads. Now they're asking Congress to step up and help out. Federal lawmakers are negotiating on a possible budget, and today U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal said that he wants the package to include $400 billion for the centers. If you've got two children under five here in Hartford, you can spend $2,000 a month on child care. Child care center directors say that the problem is twofold. Care has become too expensive for many families, but the centers also can't afford to pay their staffs much above minimum wage. Some centers even have to keep a waiting list of families due to staffing shortages. The pandemic's unsettled a lot of things, but it's really exaggerated what already existed or magnified what already existed, which is that we have a broken system. Child care centers did get help through some of the COVID stimulus packages, but some centers use the money to pay off existing debt. Without more help, many centers worried that once again, they'll have trouble paying their bills. I had one center director told me this is the first time in 15 years of running a child care center that I'm not paying last month's bills with next month's tuition. The National Association for the Education of Young Children recently took a look at the child care industry in each state coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. I'll tell you what their survey found right here in Connecticut. Live from the Mobile Newsroom, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Mike, thank you.